of millions of people to come over here and even try to come into our country in the first place. But quite frankly, if millions of people are trying to break into my house, I would shoot first and ask questions later. So you guys should be grateful that they're using non-lethal force. And no one ever asked for your ancestors to come across the ocean and do what they did to the Native Americans to the point that you literally almost drove them to extinction. To the native side of TikTok right quick, y'all come in front and center. Maybe your ancestors should have kept the same energy she had. Shoot first and ask questions later. Then maybe we wouldn't have had to endure the BS that we've had to endure for the last few centuries. You and I. And did this girl really just say we should be grateful that they're not using lethal force? Are you serious right now? Maybe you should be grateful that the Native Americans were actually generous enough to show your ancestors how to form the land. Otherwise, they would have died out the first winter they came over here, okay? And you wouldn't be in the house making this racist bullshit that you're making right now. Open a book, for Christ's sake. And what is this ours? I hate to say it, but um, this country still doesn't belong to you. Just because you've owned it for centuries, you're literally passing down and selling stolen land. It never belonged to you to this very day. It still doesn't belong to you, no matter how many of you occupy it. Besides all the actual dangerous diseases that they're bringing in, they're all bringing in variants of COVID-19. Uh, kind of like what your ancestors did when they came in and literally almost destroyed an entire nation of people uh, off of disease alone, STDs, rubbing themselves with blankets and giving it to the Native Americans. How dare you sit here and say things like this? Oh yeah, the people from communist socialism Haiti are coming here for a quick vacay before they head back to their shithole. How dare you sit here and say as whole imprisonment as if your people didn't come from one the caves, Caucasus Mountains, and or Mount Petra. Not to mention their land is in complete shambles as a direct result of your ancestors and your people today going over there bleeding these people's resources dry and also putting sanctions on their country. So Miss Becky, what did we learn today? That maybe we should open the book before we open our mouths. Or maybe we just shouldn't speak at all. And also make sure y'all pay attention to what's happening with the Ukrainians and them coming over here through the borders, okay? And they are not facing any resistance, okay? No resistance at all. But then again, they don't have blonde hair and blue eyes like the individual in the video, so they don't really matter. I I'm well aware of that.